Welcome again to another edition of the Funded Depopulation Agenda. Monsanto multiplies death. Monsanto's pipeline of upcoming genetically modified organisms includes several new varieties specifically engineered with stacked traits, which means they contain multiple genetic modifications and built-in resistance traits as opposed to just one. A new study published in the Journal of Applied Te Toxicology has found that these new multi-trait GMO appeared to be exponentially more harmful to humans than single-trait GMOs because of their synergistic toxicity. Conducting actual research that affects of GMO toxins on human cells, something Monsanto will never do, researchers from the University of Caen in France have just found that CRY1AB protein, a BT toxin, deliberately produced in many GM crops, including Monsanto's MON810BT corn, destroys human cells at levels of 100 parts per million dilution and higher when consumed by itself. This level of exposure is relatively low, considering human exposure to BT toxin comes from multiple sources, including meat, dairy products, and animals fed BT corn feed, as well as direct human consumption of BT corn ingredients, and soon to be BT sweet corn from the produce section. Additionally, the researchers found that exposure to glyphosate, an active ingredient in Monsanto's Roundup herbicide formula induces human cell death at exposures as low as 50 parts per million, which is far below agricultural dilutions, according to the report. At a dilution of 57.5 parts per million, which is only slightly higher, Roundup effectively kills 50% of human cells, which clearly illustrates its severe toxicity. The important findings confirm that Number, the numerous other reports conducted in recent days concerning Roundup toxicity in humans includes the fact that the widely used chemical causes birth defects, cancer, and death. The real kicker in the news research is the combined toxicity from the exposure of both Roundup and BT toxin, which, according to this study, is tremendous. In their conclusion, researchers noted that modified BT toxins are not inert, non-target human cells, and they can present combined side effects with other residues of pesticides specific to GM plants. So much for Monsanto's claim that BT toxin, Roundup, and various other chemically engineered traits are perfectly harmless. Monsanto actually claim on its website that human testing of GMOs is unnecessary because there's no different than conventional and natural crop varieties. The regulatory authorities have never taken the agri-giant on task to actually proving the baseless claim, which flies in the face of independent science.